Hey, it's Camo with the National Access Facebook show presented by Solus North Health Departments, where taste matters. Uh, we have another great show for you today, but first I want to remind you that every guest you see on the National Access show, uh, we take their music and put it over on our brand new Spotify page. Um, we've got a great playlist there. It's the National Access Facebook show 2019, so every guest that's on the show throughout this year will have their music on that page on Spotify. So go and follow that. And don't forget to go and check out our uh, YouTube channel as well, because all these shows end up over on there anyway. Uh, our guest today is making a return appearance, and it's really cool to have him back because we were really impressed the last time he was here. His name is Zach Stone, and he's not paying attention right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, man. Way to throw me under the bus. I, know, I appreciate it. Good to see you again. <laughs> Good to see you guys, man. Y'all got some new digs here, too. It's yeah, nice. it's, you know, we're moving on up. Yeah, to the, yeah. Well, to to the, the east north side. side. North side, <laughs> Let's see, that was uh, the Jeffersons? The Jeffersons, yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Which that was, was on when he, you weren't even which born. Which was a spin-off of? All in the Family. All in the Family. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> now, that we, now that we've got the TV trivia. Uh, how you been, man? Been great, dude. It's been a good week. I, uh, I just got back from doing some radio tour, and uh, we're out in like Nebraska and Texas and Iowa. And, Played a big show in Iowa, which is always always fun. They're a great crowd. That's almost that red dirt kind of trail through the breath, like Texas, yeah. Oklahoma, yeah. Nebraska, Kansas. Well, Texas is where I grew up, so yeah. I'm very familiar with that area and that world, and that always kind of feels like home. Yeah. Where in Texas? Uh, Dallas area, and okay. then um, uh, it was down in like Colleen, and uh, I was actually working with uh, my hand camp that I've talked about before. People. Yeah. Were We'll talk about it again. Yeah. Okay, we'll get there. Yeah. So how was the radio tour? It's, it's good. I, I remember when Kid Rock was kind of breaking into country. And yeah. He was getting more country. He said, man, country artists work hard because I'm not getting up to go and do no radio tour at 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, man, I mean, it's... I love it because I love I love this stuff the face to face meeting people talking to fans and like getting to share my story I mean I'm talking about me for an hour like what's wrong how can you hate that <laughs> <laughs> so it's very self indulgent what enough about me what do you think of me? <laughs> yeah uh, so I love it I I think it's great the the early mornings are tough but you get used to it after a while and as long as you you know I try to stay healthy and yeah. uh, stay stay clean on the road as far as like what I'm eating and. Try That's to still go hard. to the gym I mean, and stuff. Because I'm doing that too. It, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard enough in your everyday life. But when you're out on the road as an artist or out doing these radio tours, yeah. you've got to be at four stations in one day. There's <laughs> hundreds of miles between them. Mm -hmm. That's that's really hard because gas station food, not so not so, not so healthy. No, you got you pretty much got to pack it yourself or not yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah, you want to stay away from the gas station sushi. Just the <laughs> gas place. station sushi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's, what have you got that you're plugging? You've got a new single out, right? I've got a brand new single out, yeah. Hands On. It just came out um, uh, Friday. So cool. like three to three days old, four days old. And uh, it's it's been super exciting. I just got added. You guys were talking about Spotify. Yeah. Just got added to my very first ever Spotify editorial playlist. Um, I know probably nobody on there cares or knows what that means, but for, for an artist, that's that's a big deal. Uh, it kind of means that Spotify has like noticed that people are listening to your music and care about you, and so they've you know tried to give you a little boost, which it, is really cool. It's not so much about getting on radio anymore these days, is it? It's all about getting on these curated playlists. On Man, Spotify. yeah, I, I think it's about getting in front of people who are going to love your music. Yeah. Where, how, wherever and however wherever you have it. Yeah, Spotify, radio, here, yeah. whatever it is. But Spotify has become such a huge place, and well, all, all streaming outlets have. But the problem is for independent artists is that it's just zillions of songs. Yeah. And how do you yeah. how do you call that down? Call that down. Yeah. And that's why these playlists are so important. Is keep people saying, listen to this music. Yeah, well, it's someone you trust, you know, even though it's a, even though it's an algorithmic playlist and even though it's, it's someone through a computer you've never met, yeah. if you, you know, you know, John Marks does the New Boots playlist, yeah. 
millions of people follow new boots and know if I if it's on new boots I'm probably gonna like it yeah. and so it's they just have a trust the same way that if I walk in and say man have you heard that new Aaron Morris album oh it's, you gotta hear it you know and you go oh well if he likes it I'll yeah. like it and it's friends it's, it's almost like hey you gotta go buy this album it's friends right yeah music your friends yeah. Yeah. yeah back in the day <laughs> yeah yeah you you'd have one of your gang that would go and camp out to get the album yeah. as soon as the store opened. Yeah. And then, uh, everybody would take it home and with their cassettes, everybody would copy it. That was one of that. <laughs> <laughs> holding holding no, the, the microphone read. up to the radio yeah. speaker yeah. trying to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> that was one of the first things I did when I got my, <clears throat> sorry, I gotta quit smoking. Um, <clears throat> that was one of the first things I did when I, uh, uh, <clears throat> when I got, I'm so it's, sorry. It's allergies, man. <clears throat> it's, it's Nashville. When I got my uh, license, my yeah. driver's license at 16, I, I drove to Target and I bought a CD. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna do this. And no one can stop me. And I did it all by myself, going to Target. And guess what? My mom didn't like that CD. Who, who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> it was Three Days Grace. It was called One X. Uh -huh. it, was, it was a great album. It was. I album. I'd heard some of their music on on the radio. They were kidding you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, they just come out with that album and uh, their song, uh, Never Too Late. It's not too late, yeah. it's never too late. It's like really big. And uh, so I went and I was like, I'm gonna buy this album, listen to it all the time. And it was all like super hard, angsty rock. And I remember I was out, I was out on, the, on the driveway, I was uh, doing some batting practice off my tee and my mom came out and heard it and was like, what is this? <laughs> It's like, it's this say, new band, and she's like, well, I don't like you listening to that. <laughs> when I came home to the Dylan album. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it made my parents crazy. Really? Yeah, absolutely crazy. Why? What is that noise? <laughs> that band can't sing. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so yeah. of course, when a parent <laughs> says that, you, you turn, turn it up, up louder. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> cool. Uh, if you want to talk about the song, and then sure. we'll, we'll suck you into playing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can probably talk me into yeah. that. Okay. Uh, man, I, this song it was, was I, I just always felt like this song was special from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I started, I was in the shower, as usual, Good. and uh, I, uh, I just started singing this little, I got to get my hands on, hands on, hands on, yeah. And I didn't know what that was, but I just kept like mumbling it to myself and so I, I like soon I like jumped out of the shower like tried to dry off and running across the room naked and wet and um there's a visual for yeah me. yeah so everybody just take a minute close your eyes picture that yeah and then uh, get that out of my head <laughs> and, then, uh, <laughs> and then uh uh I grabbed my, yeah, a little bit. And then I, uh, I grabbed I grabbed my phone and I, I like started singing into it just like that little melody and uh, I was like, that's cool. I could do something like that. And so uh, I started thinking about hands on and the idea of being being hands on. You know, I had to, you know, with 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 my hand and everything, I've, I've, nobody's ever been able to really just show me how to do something. You know, nobody says this is how you tie a shoe. It's yeah. like this is the idea. And then I had to go figure it out myself. And same yeah. with guitar and baseball, piano, like all the above. I always had to learn how to do it myself, no matter what it was. And so it's always been, my whole life has been just making mistakes and learning from them. And I thought, man, relationships are, are uh, every relationship is that way too. Yeah. And how special is it to have someone who is willing to learn with you and make mistakes with you? Um, and then I'm also a very physically affectionate person. And so I thought that that was going to be kind of a fun little innuendo and double yeah. entendre to have, a, have cool. this cute little summer song about, you know, young love. So It's neat because songs like that, I remember when Kiss You All Over by Axel came out. Yeah. It was like you just kind of chuckled to yourself because it's it, a dirty song. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're singing it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting away with listening to this. It's a dirty song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I always, I always think about those albums when, when you were a kid and you had no idea what they were talking about, and then one day, you know, some of those Backstreet Boys songs. There was Maroon Five. Maroon Five songs, am I right, guys? Like I've got one, Maroon one day you grow thing. up and you like you go back and you listen to some of those songs and you're like, Adam, I was a child and I was singing this with you. Yeah, this I, is... I was never, I've never been a Maroon Five fan. And, and Adam, I was going on about his rock roots. He's so not a rock artist. Yeah. But yeah, you know, 
he, he's authentic rock. Uh, <laughs> and he'll tell you that. Uh, yeah. But no, I, I know what you mean because there were a lot of those songs and, and then when you get older, it's like, oh, that's what that well, That's what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Far out. I thought Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds was about Elizabeth Taylor yeah, flying yeah. on a unicorn. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do the song for us? Not, yeah. not Lucy in the Sky. Not, not Lucy in the Sky. But, but hands on. Absolutely. You're watching the National Access Facebook show with Campbell. My guest today, Zach Stone. It's always a kick having him back on. Uh, Thanks, man. Thanks for having me back. Yeah. We had to fill the spot. <laughs> so honest. Always so, always so candid. All right. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, sing along, clap along. This one's called Hands On. Summer on a rope, swing like freedom, like kissing in a back seat. It takes me back to those high school days. Some things never change. I guess I still learn the same. And I've got my hands on, hands on, hands on you. You got that. So I learned to love you when I pull you oh, oh. So I've got my hands on, hands on, hands on you You got that feel good, feel good Old school girl, you know just what to say So I know just what to do And I got my hands on, hands on telling someone uh, this weekend, you know, I'm, I'm very self-competitive, so yeah. to me it's, you know, I, I just want to keep beating whatever I did last time, yeah. and so far, I've beaten, you know, at this point, last time, I wasn't nearly as far as I am now, so, you know, just keep, climb, oh, just keep climbing the ladder, and yeah, hoping, uh, hoping we got ourselves a little number one on our hands. Um, talk about the, the project that you've got, the, that you mentioned at the beginning of the show. 
Yeah, it's hand cam. So, um, so this is something I've been a part of since I was a kid. Right. And there's sometimes people are like, wow, I cannot. People come up to me sometimes and be like, I cannot believe you founded this when you were three years old. I'm like, I didn't find anything when I was three years old. Right. But the hospital that did uh, surgery on my hand, Texas right. Scottish Rite, and, uh, and my parents were part of a small group of other parents. And they had this support group and they wanted... They wanted the hospital and this little support group were like, we can reach so many more people with this. Yeah. Let's find a way we can reach more people. And so uh, they teamed up and developed something called hand camp. And so it's just camp. Like just think of your standard summer camp that you went to when you were a kid. Right. Um, but it's specifically for kids with hand differences and, uh, and limb differences. So we got kids with no arms, with partial arms, with parts of arms, with differently shaped arms, you know, you name it. And uh, uh, I went when I was a kid. I went to the very first one ever uh, with my family, and now that was back. We had like twelve families that first year, wow. and now we have three separate camps, and uh, and I, we serve hundreds of kids each year. Um, wow. So it's uh, it's pretty incredible having watched it grow, and and it grew with us. You know, the older yeah. as as we got older and we got into high school, we went. We need a high school camp. Let's do a high school camp. And, yeah. And then when we got out of high school, we were like, we wish we would have had a middle school camp. So we made a middle school camp, you know, and it just kept, it's just getting bigger and bigger every year. And it's, it's incredible the, the lives we've been able to touch. And it's got to be for people there like yourself, it's everybody's different. So yeah. like you said, you had, there was nobody that could teach you how to play the guitar right. or how to hold the baseball bat or do that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it's going to be different for everybody with mm -hmm. Different arms, hands, everything. Of course, and that's kind of the cool thing is there. It is impressive how many similarities you find, yeah. and how often people are like, "I bet I could do that," kind of like you do it. You know, um, we uh, they have we we have uh, at little kids camp. You know, kids are still learning to tie their shoes, yeah. and so they'll have uh, <laughs> <laughs> they'll have uh, one handed shoe tying races. Oh, cool. And so, you know, the kids will get up there, and, you know, and, and, and some of the counselors will go, because I still tie my hands, you know, my yeah. shoes with two hands, yeah. you know, so we get up there, and I'm like, oh, shoot, okay, uh, <laughs> see if I can figure this out, and, and I usually can't, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's incredible the, the amount of knowledge and ingenuity that, you know, kids have at three, four years old, six yeah. years old. I don't, I don't know so much about kids, but, I, you know, I've always had border collies. <laughs> yeah. And they tie their shoes a little differently too. Yeah, border, but they always say that border collies, they will figure things out. If you, because really? they, yeah, because they're so intelligent, if you don't give them a job, they'll find one. And it's usually not wow. a job you want it done. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, I'm going to take all of the trash out of the trash can. Yeah, it's, you know, <laughs> mine strip wallpaper. Uh, <laughs> So it, it's interesting, but it's the ingenuity that they have that they think, okay, I'll figure this. this I'm going to find something interesting. Because Border Collies, is it, that's not Lassie. No, that's not Lassie. No, that's that, that's, that's a rough collie. Okay. Uh, no, border Collies are typically black and white. They herd sheep. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Highly intelligent. They're, they're, they, it's like having a, a five-year-old. Oh, oh. They're that. Are five-year-olds highly intelligent? No, but... <laughs> This got way off topic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. From, yeah. There's some five-year-olds watching going, hey! <laughs> uh, but no, it's that ingenuity that, that kids find. I think that's, yeah. in, in my lame way, was trying to get there. Uh, no, for sure, though. You're absolutely right. It's it's crazy the imagination we have when we're young. But, you know, we can yeah. just build and grow. Then you grow up and it gets stifled if you come to national <laughs> it gets stifled more yeah. <laughs> which is why why we write songs exactly. right? keep, keep, yeah. keep it going so you've got a busy summer i hope so yeah uh well we're almost halfway through it shoot it's july i know it's yeah, no, no, uh i've had a busy summer and yeah. uh hope to continue to have a busy summer got uh got some more going out for more radio stuff next week and uh got a lot of shows and a lot of stuff kind of planned and, and just Trying to keep and uh, also work on you know, what, what's coming next. So yeah. you always got to keep that keep something. That's right. You always got to keep something in the quiver. You know. Yeah. Um, that's what people who shoot bows and arrows use. A quiver. To hold their the arrows. I don't know if that was too medieval a term to use. No, it was. You can use the word Sorry. quiver here and, <laughs> uh, for a number of reasons. <laughs> um, but what's a typical 
kind of Zach Stone career day look like for you? Oh, well, uh, they all they all look a little different. Um, you know, a lot of them have something like this involved, yeah. which is great. And uh, so I'll wake up early, uh, go to the gym first thing in the morning if I can, and uh, and then I try to get all of my food ready. I'm, I've become the guy that like brings sandwiches to everything. You're, you're really <laughs> serious about it, because I mean I work out six days a week. <laughs> yeah. Play yeah. play soccer. Oh, nice. Week. Yeah. That'd be fun. But, I wish I played more sports. But I'm not as disciplined as prepping my it's, food. It's you know, like, it's it's all about you know failing and learning how to fail. You know, you can't let the failure the, the day that you just eat Chick Fil A all day. Um, uh, that's actually there's anything wrong with Chick Fil A. No, I love Chick Fil A, <laughs> but I'm actually I'm on an all Chick Fil A diet right now right. because I left my wallet in <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> And so it's being mailed back to me right now, but I have no wallet, and oh. so the, all I have is on my phone. I have the Chick Fil A app, and so I, I just, I'm just literally I've had Chick Fil A for like three meals in a row because it's, it's the only thing I can order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get my wallet back by Sunday or I won't eat. That's right. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so and then I go just a little fun tidbit for everybody, <laughs> and then I go. Uh, so I'll work out. Uh, I try to get all my food made, um, so I don't have to worry about it later, and then. Uh, I'll have a write, I'll co-write for a few hours with, with some friends and hopefully write you guys a new hit and then uh, I leave that and usually have like a meeting with somebody, you know, trying to meet with management, talk about what's the new single going to be, how are we going to make this video, who shot this picture, that was stupid, you know, whatever it was. Um, Zach, why did you post that? Never post that again. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, so we, uh, we just walk through piece by piece and just try to get better every day and then I've got my nights that I go play rounds or play shows or get to uh or get to go out and support some friends which is always fun cool you want to do another song uh, sure what do you want me to do anything you desire as long as it's not something that you imagine that says, that <laughs> says don't never do that, never do that again yeah. um ooh, okay oh, okay uh yeah do you want a do you want a happy one or a sad one uh, i don't know you choose what a cop out. What a cop out. I played I played a happy one. I'll play it. I'll play a sad one. Alright. There she is. I like the dark stuff. So yeah, that's cool. That's what uh, Luke Skywalker said. Anakin Skywalker. Dang it! I messed it up. <laughs> I see I saw the very first Star Wars. Yeah. When it came out in 1977, went with my friends to celebrate my 16th birthday, and then went home and played Risk. <laughs> uh, but I you got all the ladies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I was a steel player too. So. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, geek squad. But I haven't I haven't seen any of the other Star Wars stuff. So I know none of them. Since that was their last Star Wars. Wow. Yeah, this is cool. And yeah. I feel like it's just a culture, like you have to have done that. I'm just you know, not like a guy. You know. Yeah, it's not really my jam either. But I've seen all the Star Wars, and I just feel like, I just feel like, because friends are like, you gotta see it. You're like, okay, and so you see it. But now it's kind of gone the way of like Smokey the Bandit three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. I I am a Smokey the Bandit fan, <laughs> but uh, three is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, have you seen Cannonball Run with Burt Reynolds? The first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the best, the best, best the best line I think in the whole movie is when they're trying to figure out what car they're gonna drive, yeah. and Burt and Burt goes, "We can do a black Trans Am." No, nah, that's been <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, play some sad song. All right, this is one. It's not out yet, but I wrote this recently, and uh, uh, I really love playing it. This one's called "Don't Know Why." Birds fly south for the winter. You can't get ahead being a quitter. And even on my best days, I'm still a sinner. I know the sun's gonna rise in a sky that's blue. There's things you say that you can't undo. And I know I don't want it, but I still think about you. And I know I said, but I know I didn't mean it I know I walked out, but I didn't plan on leaving I meant it every time I said I love you 
church because he would I don't think he would ever be anybody's opening act ever again. Well you go up, you gotta come down. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eric Church's career is taking an unfortunate decline for the worst. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he'd be, be Eric Church. Um, <laughs> I'm super excited about uh, there's a I mean just a few great artists out there. Like I love I would I think I'd mix it up. I would love to have like a mixture of artists and do like uh, I think I think Camila Cabello is incredible. Yeah. She is so talented, and her her self titled album was just un, unbelievable. So like having someone like her who is just from a totally different side yeah. of music, yeah. you know, would be super cool. And then uh, combine that with somebody like uh, I love what Russell Dickerson's doing right yeah. now. He's just a great singer, a great dude, uh, great songs like. That'd be killer. And then uh, The Unfortunate Decline of Eric Church. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, that'd be a great name for a band. Yeah. The <laughs> the unfortunate like that, that'd be, that'd be the tribute band <laughs> in like 60 years. Yeah. <laughs> the Unfortunate Decline of Eric Church. That's cool. Uh, Zach, thanks for being on the show. Today. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for having me. Having you. Having you. Um, what, people can connect with you on social. Social media, yeah. Uh, Instagram is where I'm at all day, every day. Uh, Zach Stone Country, Z-A-C-H Stone Country. Um, and of course, I'm on Facebook and Twitter, and my website is zackstonecountry.com. Anywhere you want to find me, you just type in Zach Stone Country, and you'll find me. Cool. Uh, <laughs> unless you go to one of those other sites, you won't find it there. Um, no, 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 we won't. <laughs> thanks, man. It's been great having you. Absolutely. Come Thank back you again. again. I will. Uh, I will. Uh, thanks for watching the National Access Facebook Show with moi, Camo, see, I'm bilingual. <laughs> Uh, presented by Solus North Gulf Apartments, where taste matters. Catch me on Chris Country every Sunday at midday, following Bobby Bones, and every Thursday on uh, if you're in Tamworth, Australia, on 88.9 Tamworth Radio with Jody Crosby and John Wolf. I hang out with them for a bit, and make my pick of the week. Make sure you catch us, and we'll see you next time.